Love it. Plus, DVR alert. Jesse Ventura is here live. He is talking conspiracy oh, theories and the lies the government's telling you. If you're heading out, hit record. He is a great interview. You don't interview this guy. You listen to him. He's going to be great. Hit the DVR. John, I was talking to your guest earlier. Fascinating. The more I get to know this man, the more fascinated yes. I am, Linda. There's the book. There's Jesse Ventura, American Conspiracies. In this new book, Jesse Ventura sheds light on some of the dirty lies he says the government tells us. We're happy to have him back here on the show to help us uncover the truth. Welcome back to the show, Governor. Thank you. Great to be here. I saw the book and I raised my eyebrows and said, oh, brother, because I'm not a conspiracy theory sure. guy. I tend to think people who are really into this stuff, with all due respect, tend to be paranoid. I love the quote you had in your book about what paranoia is. Is. Tell us about it. Is this, is this paranoid stuff? No, not at all, because I don't make this up. Mm -hmm. If you look at the book, it's all footnoted in the back where all the documentation comes from. I'm not Vince Flynn. I'm not Tom Clancy. I don't write fiction. And I don't create with my own mind. Everything in this book is documented. Well, you have a bunch of incidents in American history that you say are juicy. And you don't claim to necessarily believe complete all this. Right. But, but you say we really should look at it. Exactly. So much has been talked about with the Kennedy assassination. You don't buy the Warren report? Not a bit. Without getting too heavy into it, do you got a bottom line on your thoughts on the uh, Kennedy assassination? Well, uh, let me put it to you this way. All the assassinations of the 60s, every single one of them was a lone nut. Alone, yeah, that's what yeah. Every one of them, right. I find that unbelievable. You talk about Malcolm X. You talk about Martin Luther King. I thought Malcolm X was particularly compelling. Give us a quick bottom line on that one. Well, the the interesting thing about the killing of Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, and we can throw in John Lennon, who's not in the book, okay. is that they were all under heavy CIA surveillance at the point they were murdered. Again, and again, sticking with the paranoia theme, did the CIA suddenly get out of the assassination business? Because I'm not hearing about so many assassinations now. Well, uh, I don't know. You probably ought to contact them and ask them whether they're in or out of it. But I will tell you this, they're embedded in state government, and their mission statement says they're not to be operational in the United States. That the, but there's one in Minnesota state government. We were talking about this in the commercial. Like, I, I maintain, like, somebody can't kiss somebody in the copy room in the newsroom without people knowing about it. You know, yeah. just you can watch it spread like wildfire. How yeah. are people going to keep secrets this big for well, so long? Well, because you're talking about murder here in many cases. Who is going to admit to a murder? Someone's going to come forward.